So in this video, I'm going to show you 10 tips and tricks that will help you become a lot better player in FC Mobile. So make sure to like and subscribe if you are excited for it. A lot of you want to win most of your head-to-head -head matches or all of your head-to-head -head matches. So the first tri trick that I would suggest you to do is just stop using shoot button. I think using shoot button will give you a lot less goals. If you go and try to swipe, for example, when I swap with Hurricane right there, it is going to be a lot easier for you to score goals and it's going to take a lot less time for you to make that shot. So defenders are not even, even going to be able to block those shots if I go out and try to take a long time doing finesse, obviously I'm going to score against training uh, training right there. But in game, it's going to be a lot harder for you to score with just using shoot button. So I think you need to definitely master uh, the swapping with uh, with shooting right there, and you're going to be able to score a lot more goals, a lot more, a lot easier, and you're going to get your shot off a lot, e a lot earlier as well. The second very, very important trick is to stop just spamming the skills button. Just because in this season of FC Mobile, when you go out and try to spam these uh, skill moves, the next skill move after you spam them a lot of times is going to be a lot worse and a lot slower than uh, than it was before that. So if you go ahead and try to spam, for example, roulettes, if I go ahead and try to spam roulettes with one of the players that does roulette, for example, uh, De Bruyne, you can see roulettes become a lot slower and slower and slower the more and more I do it. So when you go ahead and actually spam those uh, skill moves, you're going to be able to, you're, you're just going to lose the uh, lose the ball a lot of times against the defenders. They're going to be able to take that away. Just stop using, not stop using, but use it a lot uh, a lot less times i guess and uh, when you go ahead and have a clear goal you need to go ahead and shoot or you need to go ahead and pass and stuff like that just do not spam these skill moves just because you can do a lot of roulades it doesn't really mean it's gonna give you an advantage in game next thing is the goalkeeper rush when you go ahead and try to rush the goalkeeper just because you don't want to concede goals in head to head matches um you you probably have conceded a lot of goals that way when you go ahead and rush your goalkeepers like two or three seconds later you should stop using that button you should go ahead and uh, let your goalkeeper go in goal again and your opponent most of the times is going to take a cheap shot or some, uh, or a finesse shot just because he thinks you're going to uh, rush uh, you're going to uh, rush your goalkeeper and you're just going to catch that ball very very easily for example as you can see right there i lost the ball called up my goalkeeper and then i stopped and my opponent thought he was just about to uh, score a goal with a cheap shot but obviously my, my goal per just caught it very very easily here is another very very good uh, good example as you can see right there i fooled my opponent by just rushing my goalkeeper and stopped rushing him and he just uh, had a shot and it was a very very easy choice uh, easy save um as well as that i started my own attack of course which is even better but yeah this is how you can use that now another tip that you need to definitely know is that in this season so of, of fc mobile players obviously get tired they've got stamina so what you need to do is you need to have at least three very very good uh, bench players that you can go ahead and sub on instead of the players who got tired to to obviously just uh, play better and um, get get a win very very easily for example if hurricane gets very very tired i'm gonna bring on someone like diego forlan i've got some other players on the bench as you can see right there i can go on and bring on someone like milito so you should definitely have three attacking options in your squad that you can go ahead and bring on because attackers are the ones that you need to sub off the most because they get the time i get they get the most tired uh, I wouldn't really put any goalkeepers or defenders on the bench, maybe one midfielder if you really, really, really need to. And when you actually uh, substitute some players, make sure you go ahead and, so, uh, and uh, turn off this auto substitution button because uh, when you, when it is turned on, um, AI just does it its, uh, itself. So you should just go ahead and do it manually. It's a lot better and you can go ahead and sub off or sub on any player you want uh, instead of it being auto, I guess. Also, very, very important thing for head to head as well as for worse attack is to have a very very good goalkeeper if you don't have a great goalkeeper it doesn't really matter that much you're going to concede a lot of goals you the goalkeeper is in my opinion the one of uh, the most important position in the game right now just because as i said if you don't have a good goalkeeper you're going to concede a lot of goals and lose a lot of your matches for example i've got this donnarumma right there that is a very very good goalkeeper but you can have some cheap choices for example this unai simon is a very very good one and if you go into the market you might have some untradeable ones that are, that are very very good of course but some of the higher overall ones even are not that great obviously campus is very very short so he's not great if you go under star that's the best one in my opinion so you can definitely save him but we've also got like Alisson who is good Donnarumma of course Chesney is very very nice as well and for cheaper options as I said 94 overall Unai Simon is a good one even cheaper than that there is a 92 overall Unai Simon or a 90 overall Mamardashvili who are very very nice as well so make sure you get a very very good goal per goal. Shot power is a very very good uh, option as well to get very very easy goals in FC Mobile for example if you are just on the edge of the box for example right there you can just give your player 
full power or almost full power and they will almost always score the main thing is that they should have obviously decent shooting at this at this stage of the game every single one of you will have players who have got good enough shooting and it should be their strong foot if, if they don't have a weak foot for example if, if they've got faster weak foot then obviously it is um it is you you can use any of their feet but if they've got like four star weak foot or less than that you need to use their strong foot and you need to give it as much power as possible or very very close to that as you can see i gave it uh, like full power and he guards uh, i hit the post so pretty much all the time i just uh, give it almost full power just like that with harry kane or any other player strong foot and they usually score these power shots this is how you can score power shot don't give it like too less power or uh, like full full power i think just below full power and you can just score every single power shot that you take just like that what a lot of people also forget is they forget to use skill points in FC Mobile. Now, when you go on and rank up a player, for example, I've got this squad, Skelly are ranked up. I know I, I don't have most of these players ranked up. I'm going to do a big, big team upgrade very, very soon. But for example, this squad, Skelly is ranked up, right? They're trained up, ranked up. And what you need to do is when you go ahead and rank up these players, you have to use their skill points. If you have missed and if you haven't used their skill points, what you can do is you can go ahead and click one of these diamonds right there. And you need to go and click in skill points. And and as you can see right there, you can go ahead and use, use your skill points. I've used pretty much all of my skill points, so I can't do it yet. Uh, I can do it right now. But when you go ahead and rank up your player, you can go ahead and just use this skill point. And you need to uh, you need to just use um, skill point dexterity on attackers, in my opinion, because um, that that's uh, that's what they need. I think pace is the most important one. So I think uh, I'll always, most of the times, just use dexterity on attackers. But you can use any of them uh, if you want. Just use them because they give cards a lot better stats and they are like players are getting a lot better or player cards are getting a lot better with that. Now then, if you want to go ahead and try to score pretty much all of your free kicks in FC Mobile, you need to swipe certain way, a certain way and you will be able to score pretty much every single free kick you take in versus attack in head to head. All you need to do is just swipe like that as you saw right there with Roberto Carlos and pretty much every single one of those free kicks are gonna go in. Another example right there, as you can see, just swipe fast just like that and pretty much all of your free kicks are gonna go in that's that's that easy if you want to try to defend a free kick though this is the only way you can do it as you can see i made a perfect tackle i thought i made a perfect tackle but it was a free kick referee says but this is pretty much the only way you can you can defend um a perfect free kick when they shoot you should try to put one of the players just be uh, just besides the goal i guess uh where you think they're gonna shoot and this is as you can see right there uh, we managed to go ahead and stop that free kick and as i said if they perform uh, the free kick that i uh, that i said just before this one um this is pretty much the only way you can go ahead and stop those free kicks another very very important thing and this is actually the last tip for this video uh, if you want me to do it again i'm gonna do it again let, just let me know down in the comment section but what i would also suggest you to do is i would suggest you to get um get faster recruit on every single one of your attackers because this is very very important for attackers they need to be able to shoot uh, and perform with both of their feet for example Guaratzhelia has got five star record right there as you can see Hurricane has got it Jairzinho does not have it but as I said I would suggest you to have attackers every single one of your attackers to have five star record because that's gonna help you out a lot